All right, this is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus. We're doing 8.6 in Algebra 2. Uh, this is our last video in the series, uh, our fourth video, which is cube root functions. So this is what the cube root looks like. And, and just to put it in perspective, if I show you a cube root graphed with a cubic, so if we were to graph, let's clear all of this out. If we were to graph a cubic, so we'll do x to the third, right, with the cube root function, and the easiest way to type a cube root in the calculator is x to the one third. Right, and I'll go ahead and make the cube root function a thicker line so you can see. Uh, and let's also graph that line y equals x because that's the line that inverses are folded over and we'll make that one uh, a dotted line. There we go. All right, so we'll zoom six and there's your graph. So you can see that the cubic function, which is the thin line here, right, the thin curve, uh, if you fold that over the line y equals x, you get the darker curve, which is the cube root function. So that's what a cube root looks like. It sort of looks like an x cubed on its side. Um, you'll notice that the domain and range of this function are all real numbers. You can see that because this arrow, right? So, so this arrow goes forever left, so left and down forever, right? And this goes up and right forever, meaning uh, that what's happening is we're hitting both infinities for both the x's and the y's, right? So there's no domain restriction on a cube root because cube is not an even pow uh, power, right? A, a three is an odd power and a cube root is an odd root. Uh, so there are no dom domain restrictions and, and there are no range restrictions here either. So let's do a little bit of terminology quickly. So the thing in green is called the radical, right? Uh, the thing inside the radical is called the index. If there's no index at all, it implies a 2, right? So a square root, right, uh, is the same as a 2 inside that little elbow of the radical symbol. Uh, but we just never write it this way, right? So we, we don't write this. Right, that's just not a notation that we write. We use this for square root, we don't write this. Uh, so a cube root has a little three in that index spot, and then the radicand is the thing inside the root. So just a little bit of vocab so we know what we're talking about. All right, so let's go ahead and evaluate without a calculator. We're gonna do this for E7 and P7, and that'll be it for this video. So it is really useful to know some basic cubes, right? Um, I would suggest that you know at least cubes up to 10, right? One cubed is obviously one, two cubed is eight, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64, uh, 5 cubed is probably as, as high as most people know, right? It's worth knowing that 6 cubed is a 2 16, right? 7 cubed is a 3 43, uh, sorry, 8 cubed is a 5 12, 9 cubed is a 7 29, right? Uh, and 10 cubed is 1,000. So it's, it's kind of worth knowing those. The ones I always have to kind of put some thought into are these four right here, right? I always have to put a little bit of thought into them, uh, but, but it's worth having those memorized. So also with regards to cubes, a cube keeps the sign that is inside. So if you did negative two cubed, you can imagine that a negative times itself three times would come out to a negative eight, right? So all of these are just the positive versions. Uh, so all of that to say that when you see a perfect cube, it's nice if you can spot it and, and clean it up without thinking too much about it. The cube root of 27 is three because three cubed is 27. So I get three times three, which is nine minus five, which gives me a four. Here, uh, I'm doing the cube root of negative 64 and then squaring it, right? So this is gonna be a two. When I do the cube root of negative 64, I get a negative four, which will then be squared, right? And we're doing order of operations here, right? This is PEMDAS, right? So, um, so I would do parentheses first, but there weren't any, so I did the exponent, right? Then I dealt with the multiplication and division, and then I dealt with addition and subtraction, right? So, so there are four levels to PEMDAS. Uh, three is multiplication and division, and four is subtraction, right, and addition. So uh, if we go ahead and do PEMDAS here, right, so technically this is an exponent, but it's also the inside of the parentheses, so we'll do that first, right, then we'll deal with the next exponent, which is the square, so we're going to get that this is a two times a 16 plus seven, then we'll do our multiplication and division, which is how I get a 32 plus seven, and then I end on addition and subtraction, which is how I get a 39. All right, let's do one more example. All right, so uh, again, I'm gonna go ahead and deal with the exponent first, right? The cube root of a negative 125 is a negative five. So I'm gonna get that this is a positive 10 minus 10, which is a zero, right? Uh, the cube root of eight is a two, so this is gonna be six times a two quantity squared uh, plus a two. 
which is going to be 6 times 4 plus a 2, which is 24 plus 2, so I get 26. And that is it for this video.